Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend and welcome back to circle time. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. Let's fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch the circle up over your head, and let's stretch to one side, stretch over to the other side, one more stretch up at the top, and now it's time to bring the circle back down and sing together. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do quickly. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Number two, it's time to put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. Let's see, mine is right here behind me. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready for circle time. Let me grab my pointing stick and I'm going to turn over to the calendar and weather chart that's behind me. Let's go over the date first. We'll start off with the month, which is right up here. Recently, we began a brand new month. Actually, the last time I saw you on Thursday, it was the first day of this new month. Do you remember what the new month is? July, that's right. The month is July and today is July 5th. So let's move the chip over from Thursday. The last time I saw you, it was July 1st. So we're going to move the chip from the number one, two, three, four, and place it right over the number five because today is July 5th, and the year is 2021 or 2021. Now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. So let's hold up seven fingers like this for each one of the seven days of the week. Will you sing with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week. So let's go over them quickly. Listen to the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what the day is, you can say it out loud with me. Let's see. This says that yesterday was Sunday the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be T. Tuesday. But let's go back and sing Today is Monday together. It goes like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. And back up at the top, right up here, we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Summer! That's right, friends. It's summertime where I live. And this week, it is definitely going to feel like summer outside. Speaking of hot summertime weather, let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? 
Can you tell? Can you tell? So down at the bottom of the chart, I have a picture of a sun poking out behind the clouds. When I look outside of my window, I mostly see the sunshine, but there are a few puffy white clouds in the sky. And my temperature chart is between orange and red. Today it's going to be pretty warm outside, almost hot. We may even get some thunder showers later this afternoon. So the weather where I live today is mostly sunny, very warm with possible thunder showers. What about you, friends? Have you had some hot summertime weather where you live? Look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Monday, that means that we have a brand new letter to talk about. This uppercase or capital letter says Can you make that sound? That's right. And this is an uppercase or capital S. S says S, S. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter S, S. Here's your first clue. And if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. This is something that is found up in the sky. It's actually in outer space. It's very, very hot, and you can see it on a clear day. What do you think it could be? The sun. So this is a picture of the sun that I actually use on my calendar chart. The sun is very, very hot and strong, so it's important that you protect yourself when you're outside. You can wear a hat and sunscreen. Sun starts with the letter S, S. This is how you write in uppercase S, S. One more time. We also have a new number of the week. This is the number six. Will you hold up six fingers for me? Let me put my chalkboard down so that I can hold up six of my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Now let's count the number six together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to count to the number six using the large bead frame. We are going to be counting the units, which are the green beads at the top. Let's count the number six together. One, two, three, four, five, six six units. And I have more to count inside of the number box. Let's open it up and see what I have. I have some blades of grass. As I count them, I'm going to line them up across the top of the box so that we can count them together. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, six blades of grass. Are you ready to go over the sign of the week? This week, I'm going to show you how to say person in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. So in order to say person in sign language, you're going to take both of your hands and you're going to take your thumbs and bring them down slightly like this, almost so that they are touching your counting finger. And in a downward motion, that is how you say person. Let's try that again. Person. 
This week, we are going to learn about the human body and the amazing ways that the different systems inside our body work together. The human body has 11 systems, but this week, we are going to be learning about five of them, which will include the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the muscular system, the digestive system, and the nervous system. Here is a clue about which body system we'll be learning about today. This system includes a muscle whose job it is to pump the blood throughout the body. Can you guess what I'm talking about? The heart. So today we will be learning about the circulatory system. Your heart is located right here in the middle of the chest, but slightly over to the left. Your heart is about the size of your fist and it pumps blood that's full of oxygen throughout your body. Have you ever felt your heart beating before? When your heart beats, it's expanding and contracting in order to send the blood throughout your body. Have you ever noticed that your heart beats faster after you've been running or jumping around? Well, that's because your heart has to work extra hard to give your muscles more oxygen. Today, we're going to make a special tool called a stethoscope and listen to a heartbeat. For today's work, you will need some masking tape, duct tape, or painter's tape, a small funnel, and an empty roll of toilet paper or paper towels. We are going to be making a stethoscope today, which is an instrument or a tool that's used to listen to your heartbeat. So I'm going to start off by taking my funnel, and I'm going to put the circular side facing down so that the little spout is facing upward. And I'm going to take my empty toilet paper roll and cover the top of the spout like this. Next, I'm going to take my blue painter's tape and add a piece around the roll just so that it stays connected to the funnel just to add some reinforcement. So I'm just taping around the edge like this. You can use one more little piece right here. So the roll is attached to the top of the funnel and that's it. The next thing that you're going to do is have an adult or a friend or a family member lie down and you're going to place the circular part of the funnel on top of the person's chest and then your ear will go right here. So the bottom part of the stethoscope is going to go on a person's chest and your ear will go right here and then you're going to ask everyone to be very quiet and you're going to listen carefully and hear the person's heartbeat using your stethoscope. So again, this bottom part of the funnel is going to go down on top of someone's chest. Your ear will go right here and then you listen carefully and you can hear the heartbeat. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Do you remember the name of the tool that we'll be making today? Today, we'll be making a stethoscope, which is a special instrument that is used to listen to a heartbeat. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.